In this video, we will cover the saw and rub testing method for compressive strength of concrete. In order to use the saw and rub method, a combination of the ultrasonic pulse velocity device and rebound hammer must be used. To start, I'll be providing a quick overview of both testing methods. When conducting the ultrasonic pulse velocity test, a transmitting transducer sends a wave inside concrete and a receiving transducer receives it at another point. This gives the inspector the velocity in concrete. The higher the velocity, the higher the quality of concrete. When using the rebound hammer, the hammer is pushed towards the surface and causes a latch to release and measure the rebound of the spring-driven mass. The output is then referred to as the rebound number. The higher the rebound number, the higher the quality of concrete. There are several advantages to using the saw and rub testing method. Firstly, the compressive strength is evaluated at both surface level and in-depth levels because it's using two different devices. There is also a similar level of accuracy in the estimation of compressive strengths when comparing traditional tests to non-destructive tests. There is also little preparation needed to test the sample. And finally, the concrete elements that you are testing are not damaged. The SONREB method works by applying the results provided by the non-destructive tests into a mathematical model. Although there are several formulas that can be used in order to determine the compressive strength of concrete using the SONREB method, the most popular one can be seen here, where A, B, and C are correlation parameters based on a regression analysis, UPV is the ultrasonic pulse velocity from the UPV test, and RN is the rebound number obtained from the rebound hammer test. To learn more about F'C and the non-destructive testing solutions that we offer, visit our website at fprimec.com.